So it says up here, our next thing, it says time to color your periodic table. Color the S block, P block, D block, and F block and write in energy level numbers that I show you as well. So there's a correlation between electrons and the periodic table. Let me say that again because that's a very important idea. There's a correlation between electrons and the periodic table. So when we look at these numbers, 2, 6, 10, and 14, and then I take a look at the periodic table. So keep those numbers in mind, 2, 6, 10, and 14. Do you see how the far left-hand side of the periodic table has two very tall columns? Then the right-hand side of the periodic table has six tall columns. Then those little shorty columns in the middle, this is 10 blocks wide. And then if you count how wide these guys are at the bottom, those are 14 blocks wide. That is not an accident. That is not a coincidence. We organize our periodic table in the way that we do because of the way that the electrons are arranged in the atom. Again, that's a really important idea, so I'm going to say it one more time. We organize the periodic table the way that we do because of the way the electrons are arranged in an atom. So up here, we said that the S block the S's can hold two electrons, the P can hold six, D can hold 10, and F can hold 14. So what they sometimes call this left-hand side of the periodic table, the S's, the right-hand side, the P's, those little short columns in the center, D's, and those two rows at the bottom, F. So I'm gonna color code my periodic table here for you guys. So let's say I'm gonna do the S block. I'm gonna color that guy in pink. And so it's gonna be those two columns on the right-hand side. And then I'm also going to include helium. That one's a little special over there. Then for our P block, I'll color those in yellow, let's say. So these six tall columns on the right, this part that I'm highlighting in yellow, those are elements that we say are in the P block. So yellow is P, pink is S, then I'll do, uh, let's do blue in the middle for D's. So these 10 tall columns here are the D block. And then we have our F's as well. So this guy's D. So I'll do my F's in green. The other thing, so we have electron clouds. So picture that nucleus in the center. The electrons zipping around in those cloud shapes around it. But we also had those things called energy levels, which told us how close we are to the nucleus. So energy levels, I'm gonna write some numbers uh, next to the columns of the periodic table that uh, right down the sides, I'm gonna put some numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna put those same numbers off to the right-hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the numbering in the middle there next to the Ds and the Fs, uh, I'm gonna write three, four, five, six, 
And then I'm going to write a 4 and a 5 here. And no, I didn't goof up. I know if you're looking and you're wondering, wait a second, why is this 3 here and that's 4? Did she goof up and it's in the wrong row? Nope, nope. That's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, one other thing that um, I'd like you to label this far right-hand column that contains helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, and what is OG? Oganesson, <laughs> whatever that is. Those guys, I'd like you to label those as noble gases. 